Cat Synth TV. Hey everybody, Cat Synth TV, and today we mourn the passing of Florian Schneider, one of the founding members of Kraftwerk. We perhaps recognize him as one of the four men behind the consoles and Kraftwerk's iconic stage presence, a style they were already cultivating in the 1970s. But Schneider was also an accomplished flutist. Indeed, he primarily played flute and electronics in the earliest recordings and performances, with tape delays, ring modulation, and other effects. Along with co-founder Rolf Hutter, he performed in a variety of styles from experimental to driving rock tunes complete with guitars and drums. Perhaps the best known song from the flute period was Rukzuk, which morphs from echoing floating flute solos into a driving band. As the members of the band, including Schneider, gravitated towards other instruments like the Mini Moog and EMS Synthi, they evolved into the more structured, synthesizer-centric band that we have come to recognize. This concept came together in their mid-1970s album Autobahn. At their Kling Klang studio, they continued to perfect and innovate this style both musically and visually. Among Schneider's contributions was the extensive use of vocoders, which became a core part of the band's sound. We see this truly come together in their albums, Man Machine and Computer World. At this point, the band had moved to a purely electronic format that they could take on the road for their live performances. The band adopted their very staid presence behind podiums with sound and visuals surrounding them. The core members of Kraftwerk have long been known for their reclusiveness, but perhaps none more than Schneider, an exceedingly private individual. Indeed, although his last performance with the band was in 2006, his departure from the band was not announced until 2008. He rarely gave interviews and would often have a terse or enigmatic style when he did. Do you think that you are uh, the father of this generation? What shall I say? I don't know. He came from a creative family, which included his father, Paul Schneider Esleben, recognized as one of the pioneers of German modernist architecture in the post-World War II period, and who worked with the artist collective Zero. David Bowie paid tribute to Florian Schneider in the track V2 Schneider from his 1977 album Heroes. Do you have any thoughts about Florian Schneider and his legacy? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching! Check out more at www.catsynth.com and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.